My name is uh, Drew Says. I'm the executive chef of the Townsend Hotel in Birmingham, Michigan. I feel like I did okay. And I think you're gonna get that answer from a lot of people. I think we did okay. We performed the way we practiced, and we got the, we put the food out the way we wanted, and um, it's up to the judges at this point. I think we did, I'll say pretty well. Uh, my name is Seth Shipley. I'm from, I'm the executive chef of the Gasperlin Club of Grand Florida. Um, I got into competing. I um, graduated culinary school and went to the Greenbrier and did their apprenticeship program. Um, and it was very competitive space. Um, their final graduation was uh, ice carving, a cold buffet platter, a hot five course presented cold, a three course um, hot food competition, as well as hors d'oeuvres. Hi, I'm Jeremy Thummel uh, from Pebble Beach, California, in Monterey. As a positive learning experience, for sure. I mean, the critique alone here has been uh, just an eye opener, and it makes me want to be more of a perfectionist. So it's been a, a great experience for, for me and my team, and it's been great. Hi, my name is Derek Davenport. I'm the executive chef for the chairman of the Joint Teacher Staff. Winning chef of the year for me will be a, a huge accommodation to military culinarians across the board. There's a lot of uh, soldiers, sailors, airmen, or, and Marines out there who are fighting the fight and who are awesome, awesome cooks and chefs. What we do is important to our force and to Napoleon said, an uh, army rides on the stomach. Uh, winning Chef of the Year would be a huge deal for me. I'm, I'm getting married in a month, and this has been a, a spectacular year so far, so this would really, this would mean the world to me. I think some of the ingredients I'd like to see used a little more is some of the off cuts. You know, it, it's been a, a big sort of resurgence in the industry to use a lot of the secondary cuts of meat and find a way to make them useful because of the cost of everything and the way things keeps going. I, I'd like to see a lot of chefs kind of go back more to basics. You know, I think we're getting really excited about molecular gastronomy and, and soup and cooking and, and, and things like that, but I, I think we still need to pay respect to a lot of where we came from. Uh, what it feels like to win Chef of the Year, it's uh, a humbling experience. Uh, it's been quite the journey. I've been telling my apprentices that it's sometimes about the journey and not the destination and the whole process. We've learned a lot about each other, areas that we need to improve, uh, and it's been, it's been awesome.